Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users on how to get a logo on a metal ray architectural material that has the frosted glass preset. So here I have a simple scene set up here. So let's hop into our hypershade and go ahead and create our uh, metal ray material. So this will be the architectural material. I'm just going to double click on it to open up the attribute editor and then apply the frosted glass preset. Okay, so now that we have that created, uh, we can middle click and drag that onto our object here. And we can see the result that we get with our frosted glass here. Okay, so let's uh, come in and create a new node. So I'm gonna come in and create something like a Lambert. And this will be what we'll apply our file texture to. So I'm gonna uh, add a color and bring in my file that will be the logo. Now I have a simple uh, texture here that's basically just some text with some alpha with an alpha channel on it. We can see what the text looks like. So if I apply this to my Lambert now and then render that out, we can see um, basically it's just going to be the text since uh, we have an alpha channel on there to hide everything else. Okay, so now we need to figure out how to get the frosted glass as well as the text or logo on our object. Now we can do this by actually utilizing a layered shader. So come in to create materials and create a layered shader. Okay, so with the layered shader, basically what we're going to do is uh, bring in these other shaders and then apply the layered shader to our object. So the first one I'm going to bring in is going to be my text. So I'll just middle click and drag that onto my uh, layered shader here. I notice that I'm actually bringing in the Lambert material since we are wanting to bring in um, shaders as opposed to textures. Now there's a different texture called a layered texture. And this is slightly different in that you actually bring in the shader material. So now that I have my Lambert in here, I can get rid of the uh, default green color. Now we want to bring in our architectural material. Now if we middle click and drag this in here, uh, it's not going to let us do that. So there's a little workaround that we actually have to do in order to get our architectural material into the layered shader. We actually have to plug this in to a Maya uh, material. So I'm going to come in and create a surface shader. I usually prefer to work with a surf surface shader for this because it doesn't add any extra shading to it. Okay, so now we want to take our architectural material and middle click and drag to bring this into our surface shader. So I'll just choose other and that will open up our connection editor here. Now we'll want to bring in, um, we want to connect in our uh, architectural material into the surface shader. So on the left hand side here, let's scroll down until we find our result, which is going to be um, plugged into our out color of this surface shader. And we also want to bring in our transparency result and plug that into our transparency of the surface shader. Okay, so once we have those hooked up, now in our layered shader, we can actually middle click and drag to bring in the surface shader for um, or behind the Lambert. So um, the way that the layered shader works is that uh, basically we can think of this as being on top of this shader. So we have our logo on top of the surface shader, which is then uh, bringing in the frosted glass architectural material. Okay, so now we need to uh, take our object and simply apply the layered shader. So we can see this is what it looked like with just the Lambert. And as we can see with our result, uh, we're getting the nice frosted glass look with the logo on top of it. Uh, so this is what we started with, with just the frosted glass. And then we added the logo material. And then when you put the two together uh, with the layered shader, we get the nice frosted glass in the background, uh, as well as the nice decal or logo on top of it. So that's a quick look at how we can add a logo to an architectural material by utilizing the layered shader. Now to learn some more, I'd recommend checking out the Utilizing Shading Networks in Maya course.